Hi, I'm Kat from Bear Learn, and I love this quote from Hecuba in Euripides Women of Troy. It goes, If the God had not decided to make the greatest suffer most, no one would ever have heard of us. No songs would have been written in memory of our suffering. It appears on page 56 of the Don Taylor version of Women of Troy and is said in my mind in a defiant, almost F you tone by the once a queen, always a queen, Hecuba, Queen of Troy. Now, open up your bear bank and let's take some quick notes. So why is this quote worth taking notes on and why do I love it so much? Because it's all at once touching on the themes of legacy, the voice of women, and my absolute favorite, the importance of stories. And how that particular skill of telling stories and passing them on is such a unique human trait that is worth focusing our efforts on. And that is the skill, that is the human skill that's truly worth celebrating. What does that all mean? Before I get into it, a reminder that I do have more Women of Troy videos like this to help you build your quotes and notes on Women of Troy on my channel. And if you want detailed written analysis on 50 key quotes from the play, you can get them from my website, bearlearn.com. Coming back to this particular quote, the reason why I imagine Hecuba to be saying this line in a defiant tone is because she says it close to the end of the play when the women are being rounded up to be put onto a Greek ship and sailed away to be slaves. They are spoils of the Greek victors after the Greek devastation of Troy. So even though Hecuba is now war ravaged, she's covered in dirt, hair's a mess, she still exudes this great inner confidence and fights for the women's honor as a true leader would, using the only means that she has, her voice. In these final scenes, Hecuba turns the women's victimization around and declares that because that they have been so horrifically abused and sidelined, their suffering is exceptional. And because of this, they will be remembered throughout all of time and they will have songs and poems written about them. And this will be their legacy. In another video, I made a similar comment that while Euripides didn't win at the Dionysus Festival that year for his play Women of Troy, across time, he's been proven to be the true champion at that festival because it is Hecuba's voice about the suffering of women that has been immortalized not just in Euripides' play, but has been repeated and immortalized in other enduring works such as Shakespeare's Hamlet. When Hecuba is saying this quote to her Greek captors, she is saying that she and the Trojan women will be remembered for the right things and that they will be admired and respected for the way in which they have endured their suffering. This is a clear message to Euripides audience at the time who was pretty war loving. It's a message to have a second think about what their legacies will be. How will they be remembered? As brutes, savages, men who let their base desires rule their heads, this would have been a little offensive to his audience who prided themselves on being rational, level-headed, clear thinkers, ruled by intellect and not emotions, which they demeaned to largely the sphere of women. Men just don't cave into their emotions, you know, like Melanaeus. But in these few lines, Euripides doesn't just manage to convey the women's dignity, the power of voice, and indirectly shame the war-loving men. Euripides also conveys an encouraging reminder of what the very unique ability of humans is, and that is to weave together a narrative through song or story, and that's what's worthy of directing our efforts at, and that's what really a good life is made of, not fighting, not point scoring. Is taking Helen back really going to make Melanaeus happy? I really read this quote from Hecuba as support for the arts. Woman of Troy debuted, after all, at the Dionysus Festival, which is all about theatre and performances in honour of Dionysus, the god of good times. At, don't say god of good times. He is officially the god of wine and feelings of ecstasy, but that's why I call him the god of good times. So, focusing on the arts, on writing, on performing, entertaining, inspiring humanity through art to be the better versions of ourselves is what Euripides is saying we should focus our efforts on, not war, not fighting. And FYI, students studying Station Eleven would know that this is also a key theme throughout Emily St. John Mandel's absolute page turner, where in the post-pandemic world, 
there is still a crucial, critical need for the arts. That's enough for me on this quote by Hecuba. If the gods had not decided to make the greatest suffer most, no one would have ever heard of us. No songs would have been written in memory of our suffering. It is such a great quote. Hope you've been taking notes in your bear bank. Signing up is free. And if you wanted those 50 quotes and analysis that I mentioned earlier, you can get them from my website, bearlearn.com, and you can get them put all at once into your bear bank by adding the add to bear bank option to your cart and checking out. There's also a free version of the Women of Troy quotes where you can get sent to your inbox for 50 days straight, one quote each day from Women of Troy. And then you can build up your own analysis based on those quotes as you go. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your studies and your assessments. Be educated and read.